This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to talk to you about the AuthorH Review plugin for WordPress. The AuthorH Review plugin allows you to do much more feature-rich product reviews and showcase them to your readers, as well as have those reviews show up more attractively on Google Search. After you buy, download, and install the AuthorH Review plugin, you can go into the settings page where you have the ability to specify what you want to show as the defaults in your posts. You can default to have the rating stars on the home page or just every single post. If you use a magazine style WordPress theme, you may not want the rating stars on the home page because it doesn't work well with featured slider bars or interactive featured bars uh, where the stars may get in the way or interfere with your WordPress theme. You should experiment and see what looks good though on your home page. For a Dragon Blogger, I have it set to display only on single posts, not on the home page. You also have the ability to set the display default settings, such as hiding the rating box on all reviews, hiding the reviewed by specific author. This isn't needed if you're a single author blog, but if you have other authors or guest writers or staff that does reviews, you might want to showcase who the, who's doing the review, and that's why I have that one enabled. You can also hide the date on all reviews, because sometimes if a review's old, it might turn readers away, so you may want to hide the date, especially for products that don't necessarily um, lose focus on the review or lose importance a year later. It's, the, it's still the same quality of review, uh, but for products that change with each software version, a review on, say, a software from three years ago is not going to be valid three years from now, so therefore um, it's good to show the date and show the age of the review in case it needs refreshing or updates. You could also hide the modified dates on all reviews, but again, I think these are good to show a reader how current the review is, unless it's on a really old product or a piece of hardware that doesn't really change uh, with dates. You could set the default sizes for the author H review boxes, but I recommend leaving all defaults unless you have a problem with your theme. Once configured, when you go into your WordPress post editor, you'll see the author review settings box. Here you'd set and configure all the options for the reviews that show up in the single posts. You select your star rating, such as you know how many stars it's going to be rated from no rating to five stars with incremental points in between. Uh, the name of the product you're reviewing, this could be software or hardware, a uh, small summary of the review which shows up in the review box area. You click on the details tab, uh, again here put the product type if you have specific categories of, of the products. In this case I'm doing a, a showcase of the Anchor Wi-Fi repeater, so it's a Wi-Fi product which I'm listing. The author name, now again the author review settings was originally designed for doing like reviews of WordPress plugins or, or software so it says author name but really it should be adaptable to be company name or things like that it won't actually say the name author uh, in the area and you could really use it for games movie reviews anything version of the product again some products don't have versions you can leave that blank and then the price is a good item but remember it does vary if it's something like on Amazon where the price can fluctuate up and down on the display tab you have the ratings box templates you could do default wide or light uh, depending on your theme, you may want to do light. This is where it's a horizontal summary box at the top of the post versus a long vertical box which has your text wrap around it. So it depends on the theme. I recommend experimenting with what looks best for you. In the case of my Dragon Blogger, I like light where it's a small horizontal summary at the top and I'll show you what that looks like after. Again, you can also hide the ratings box for this review so that it doesn't show up specifically. You can also use the ratings box short code to actually put the review ratings box area anywhere in the post you want instead of the defaults. The next is to upload an image for the review that shows up in the review summary area. It's recommended you create and scale a 150 by 150 thumbnail image. Uh, so I just create one usually and upload it manually here and then put the image file path here. And then, of course, I set the image alignment to default, although you may want to do it left or right align. Again, experiment with your theme and what looks best here and preview it. Finally, the link. You want to link to the product or your affiliate link of the product in the URL area here. You can customize whatever button text you want, such as buy now, more details, get it now, whatever, whatever action words you want to use to try to encourage your readers to click on the product you're reviewing. You can set the button alignment, again, default right, left, or wherever you want as well. You also have the ability to make the links do follow if you don't want to make them no follow. In most cases you will want them to be no follow unless you're linking to something else on your own website to where you want that internal do follow link. Uh, if you're doing an Amazon affiliate link for example, you're going to want it to be no follow and just not check that. After you have all those settings set up, you're ready to publish your article, see what it looks like. So here's an example of what that article looks like published. 
this is what the light area of the author H review plugin looks like. You can see the image thumbnail, the link, the stars, who it's reviewed by, the date, the last modified date, and the buy now button. Clean, elegant, and simple. It also has the summary right under it, and then it goes into the review. And then at the end of the post, you can also see it has the small summary ratings box, uh, which is like a follow up reminder for the user in case they don't scroll to the top. Again, Author H review isn't just for showcasing reviews in your posts. It also has benefit on Google as well by using the micro data for review format. If you go into Google and do a search for your review, you'll see it ends up looking like this. I did a search only two days after I published that article, and now you can see the review of the Anchor Compact Wi Fi repeater. My star ratings box shows up here as well. I also rank on the first page in Google. Now, the ranking on the first page is probably because it's a very specific product and a niche, but I'm behind the actual Amazon uh, mentions of the product itself. And you'll notice something. My Google Plus for this article is actually above my own article. And the Google Plus has the image, and I'm not sure why my article doesn't because I am using another plugin which should show the author image, but it's not showing there. The ratings box is, however, and that's what the author H review is. It's specifically to show the ratings box on the Google SERP page. Author H review also comes with a widgets that you can put in your sidebar that shows all your recently reviewed articles. It also has a really nice review post summary where you can see all recent posts which have the plugin configured where you basically set settings in the plugin so you can see them right away and you can test them. Uh, it's a really excellent plugin. It's well worth the price. A lot of bloggers are using it. I highly recommend it. The Author H review plugin for WordPress allows you to enhance your reviews and your product reviews add professionalism, add custom styling, and get them to show up more attractively on the Google search results. Thank you for watching.